In this webinar, we'll review some of the typical errors you may encounter and how to fix them. Sometimes, when trying to create or send an insurance claim, you may run into an error from the program. This error is explaining that there is missing information that the insurance may need. This could be anything from practice information to the procedures themselves. To demonstrate these various errors, I've created a few patients for us to go through some of the different examples. This won't be covering all of the errors, but should give us a good starting point for finding them ourselves in the future. Before I go to the account itself, I just want to show that on the send claims window, this missing information window will actually tell us if anything is missing. If I go ahead and send my claims, we're going to see missing information shows up with what the patient might need. Let's go ahead and close out of here and go through these one by one. My first patient has a claim that I'm sending. And if I hit OK or send, we're going to see what information is missing. This one is telling me that the practice zip must contain nine digits. This window is very specific on what information we actually need to add. For this one, let's go ahead and cancel out of here. I can go into setup and practice to change the practice zip. Now you might notice that I actually have a valid zip in here, but that message was telling me that I need nine digits. This is because some clearinghouses do require the full nine digit zip. So let me go ahead and put this in here, hit OK, and then this error will be removed next time I try to create my claim. Another possibility is that you have the wrong clearinghouse. If it has that zip showing and you know that you have a clearinghouse that only requires your uh, five digit zip. For that, we can change your clearinghouse by going to Setup, Family Insurance, and Clearinghouses. Our next patient, if we go into her claim, we can see that it is missing the patient state. If a patient is missing information, the system is going to tell us exactly what they might need added. So I'll go ahead and OK here. Let's go into the family module and change this patient's information. You might notice something peculiar here. Right now, I actually do have the state entered. What Open Dental is looking for, though, is just our two character abbreviation. So in this case, I'll go ahead and get rid of the last part, leave it with or, and that should make our program happy. Perfect. My next patient has a problem with the provider. All providers in Open Dental, if we're going to send an electronic claim, has to be a 10 digit number for their NPI. To add this information if it's missing, we can go ahead and go to Lists, Providers, and double click into our billing or treating provider, whatever the system was telling me. In this case, I know that it's using Craig Stevens for both, so I can double click into him. And once again, it looks like we have the information. If we look a little bit closer though, we'll notice that I have a space leading in the front. For this field, we need it to be exactly what the number is with no additional information. I'll go ahead and remove this space Hit OK, and we should be good to go. Perfect. The next patient we have is missing something for the procedure itself. I have a composite, and if I go into my OK, we're going to see that this procedure must indicate a prosthesis as initial or replacement. Let's go ahead and cancel and enter this in here. This is something that the doctor may have put in when they were doing the actual procedure treatment planning. 
If not, we can go directly into our crown and then mark this as initial or replacement. If I do this at the procedure level, this will be enough to make the system happy. Do note, we do have a crown bridge or denture here for the claim, but this is actually separate from what the error is telling us. When that error comes up, we know that it has to be applied to the procedure itself. Now, if I hit OK, the system's happy and we can move on. Our next patient is missing some carrier specific information. If I double click in here, I can hit OK. And we're missing carrier state and our carrier zip. To address this, we need to go into the family module and change the insurance. Go ahead and cancel out of here, family, and double click into my primary tab. This carrier information is a little sparse to start with, so we probably have some other things we need to change. But specifically what the system is looking for is here, my state and my zip. Just like for the patient or the subscriber, we need to make sure that this information is entered in with our two digit abbreviation, sorry, two character abbreviation. And then we need to put in our full zip code and hit OK. Important note about this screen, by the way, in order to make sure that this carrier is being changed for all of our patients at the plan level, we need to make sure that we have this box checked, our radial selection for change plan for all subscribers. If we have create plan if needed, we're instead going to be creating a whole new plan and not changing anybody else. Go ahead and go back to our account module, and that should be enough to make the system happy. Now, one thing you'll notice about this error is that we can layer these messages on top of each other. So if I go back into my claim and I hit OK for this patient, we're going to see that there is a lot of information missing. We can go ahead and take a screenshot of this, write down what's missing, and then hit all of these at once rather than doing these one at a time. This is going to ensure that we go back, we can go ahead and send that claim. Thank you for joining us today for this webinar. We've covered the most common errors today, but again, this is not a comprehensive list. You can find more resources in the links below. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com and make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.